Hey guys, Funder here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we arrived in Petalburg City, and in this episode, we will be exploring the, the city. But before we get on to that, I'm uh, first I'm gonna bring up that I was doing some so stuff off screen. Primarily, I I uh, did a little leveling up for Tesla. She is now level seven, and and still mediocre. And also, um, I also did buy a couple items. Um, I, right, yeah. Here are the, I bought the uh, pr two paralysis heals and two awakenings, and well, you can see right here, it does exactly what it says on the box. <laughs> Don't really need to do any explaining. But, but we are going to be exploring Pelberg City in this episode. However, first, I'm, but before we do that, I'm going to be walking, I'm going to be walking over here towards the next route. And why you may ask? Why is that so important? Well, here you go. Hiya! Are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in the town. Except I don't really do that, I explore the town, but okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm magnetically attracted again. <laughs> oh boy, it's been years since I said that. <laughs> See? This is Pelberg City's gym! This is the gym sign. Look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. Yeah, and I'm going to just show this. If you go back, he'll do it again! <laughs> I'm just gonna fast forward. <laughs> there we go. So, you, so you're being directed towards the gym. It says the leader is Norman. So, said the leader is Norman, a man in pursuit of power. Let's go in and see what's going on. Hello. And and yes, this is this is the this is the protagonist's dad, as it clearly says. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Thunder. So you're all finished. All finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Thunder. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. And who is this? Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? You're... Um... Oh, right. You're a Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf Town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Thunder, you heard that, right? Yes. Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches the Pokemon. Here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Why? <laughs> we had to go. We had to go get our own Pokemon, but he just this kid just walks up and gives him gives him one to uh yeah. <laughs> oh wow, a Pokemon! Hmm. I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. I'm just not gonna question it. Oh wow! Thank you. Thunder. Would you really come with me? Well, I don't really have a choice, do I? More scripted walking. Thunder, Pokemon high in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! And this is something that usually appears like the scripted catching Pokemon thing. <laughs> Um, you would, you saw this and you would see us in Pokemon Fire Red, um, if you want, you, uh, have seen that game. Of course, I've already explained this. I've already explained this, though. In order to catch a Pokemon first, you have to weaken it. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> It's got way too much HP. <laughs> Don't throw the ball right now. <sighs> that is not very smart, but I guess he's gonna throw the ball. And because it's scripted, it works, even though it shouldn't. I did it. It's my my Pokemon. Thunder, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? 
Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Thunder, thank you for coming along with me. You drew a while to only catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Thunder. Now. Thunder, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to, go to go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leader. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Thunder. But that's only after you become stronger. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going... <laughs> uh, Norman is the fifth gym leader. And if I show this... I haven't shown the trainer card yet. Yeah, you can see all the stuff. Badges! Yeah! For those who are... For those who do not have much experience with Pokemon, there are eight gyms. Yeah, it's gonna be a while from now. It's gonna be a while from now before we, um... Before we battle him. Yeah, if you catch a Pokemon... And you already have six Pokemon, and... Yes, yes, it's that dude. It's you. My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grid full of hope. Or could be a look of somber silence, struggling of fear. What do you see reflected in your face? I see derp eyes. Derp. Yeah, just, I might, I might not say a whole lot during this, I just kind of want to walk around and show what these people say. I don't feel like voicing every single little bit. Mm. Um, this is, a uh, although that's what I do want to talk about. Yeah, your, your, uh, your character is from Johto, if I'm correct. Mm. So, so that's an interesting thing. Uh, of course, you know, you came in from the truck. Yeah, you were moving from Johto, I'm pretty sure. And this is, uh, this is Wally's house. Except if you, uh, go and say hi. Uh, uh he's been frail and sick this ever since he was a baby. Here's a lot cleaner there in his here. Yeah, he's already left. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. good oh who's this? <laughs> who the frick is this I totally forgot about this guy because yeah I was playing Alpha Sapphire and this guy was totally um dropped <laughs> excuse me let me guess from the way you're addressed you're a Pokemon trainer well maybe not your clothes aren't all that dirty you're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid I'm rowing the land in search of talented trainers I'm sorry I've taken your time Well then. Anyway, let's move on to the next route. And awesome music. Just nostalgia. And I do want to, and I do want to actually add a new member to my team, so I will start, I'm going to explore this grass and start cutting. Yay, jump cuts. And here it is! It's Taylo! We've already seen one before, and I plan to catch one. Taylo is kinda is Ho is basically Hoenn's resident generic bird Pokemon. So why would I do why would I catch one? Well, I've all in the earlier generations I always have caught the generic bird Pokemon. Plus Taylo isn't all that bad actually. Taylo's got some good attack and good speed, just like most generic bird Pokemon. Usually, I, like, in my opinion, the generic bird Pokemon usually aren't that bad. Well, maybe, I don't know. I mean, my Pokemon Fire Red LP, I kind of realize that Pidgeot is that bad, but... <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this will be different. So anyway, we caught Taylo without really any fuss. Auto is small is very courageous. It'll take on a larger Skarmory on, equal, on an equal footing. However, it's Will Weakens if it becomes hungry. <laughs> Sounds like me! Anyway, I'm going to give a nickname, and I'm thinking the name I'm going to go with is Terra. No reason in particular, just a, like just a name that comes to mind for me. So we have we have a new team member, and she's she has like no health, so we're gonna 
<laughs> so we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. Of course. Q speed up button! <laughs> FYI, I didn't cut that out. I did not cut that out on purpose. <laughs> because, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of annoying. Actually, it's kind of annoying to do jump cuts on a Camtasia. So yeah, I'm using Camtasia to make these. Yeah, it's kind of annoying to do jump cuts on them. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to use them for a little bit. Let's actually see uh, what nature she got. Impish. I. So I have two Pokemon of an impish nature. Kaden. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight this guy. And yep. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun! E. And he's got a zigzagoon. And that could be problematic, yeah. <laughs> if you're wondering what Peck does, well, it's it's a very basic flying type move. It's a pretty decent one. Ow. I don't wanna I don't want to be too risky right now, so I'm going to switch to Finn. Yeah. And Finn's about to level up, actually. Right. Zigzag Goon being annoying. Come on! This die already. Bye-bye. Anyway... Now, if I'm correct, once Finn gr grows to level 10, yep, he learned Water Gun. For some reason, he has it as soon as you get it, as soon as you get him in um, Alpha Sapphire. That's one change I don't really like, how they just added, that, they just added, it, added in the move. I honestly didn't like that change. Wish Mudkip still learned Water Gun at level 10. Feels more natural, honestly. I, I don't know why it just does. And I wanted to introduce, like, the types here. Yes, this is the first time that's we're, that we're seeing super effective moves. When a move is super effective, it does double damage. Uh-oh. Uh, that's a problem. And that's another interesting move here. Got Bide. Uh, what Bide does... Yeah, what... Yeah, what Bide does is that stores up energy, and ba so that basically, when you attack it, um, let me attack it, uh, it's gonna, it's, Bide's gonna last for like two turns, and when you attack it, it stores up energy, and when it unleashes Bide, it does double the damage it had taken. It can actually be a pretty dangerous move. Using Harden again. Self-explanatory, raises defense. I'd like if you stopped harding your nuts, though. There we go. So Terra, just to get a level 7 Pokemon, it is definitely going to get a level up. Noice. And did not gain much stats at all. <laughs> it gained two levels! Noice! And he got sand his runners. They're all gritty. <laughs> Gained three levels in one... After defeating one Pokemon. That is incredible. Oh, that is... That is amazing. I didn't actually say anything about Seedot. Seedot's kind of interesting. In Ruby and Sapphire, you have... You had... Seedot and Lotad. Um, I'm pretty sure in Ruby and Sapphire, only one of them appeared in both games. Like, one of them appeared in each game, although I do believe they both appear in this game. I'll have, I'll have to uh, check my, uh, I'll have to check my data on that, though. Anyway, um, so, uh, see, that's something interesting. What, the, the sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. My fish is a tough look, tough looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. And yeah, let's see what he's got. He's got Magic Carp. Oh. 
Uh, if you've heard anything about Pokemon, you probably have heard about Magikarp. It is the useless Pokemon! Seriously, it pretty much can't do anything. It's pretty much helpless. Uh, until it reaches like level 15, the only move it can use is Splash, which does absolutely nothing. Why not? Let's spam- let's use Howl a few times! Because I literally have nothing to lose. Oh yeah, naturally they don't they don't really give any experience out either. So that's kind of that's kind of irritating, especially when they actually take a bit. Wish I could get a crit, but nope. Come on. It's done already. Yay. And I get three. Nothing at all. <laughs> what the? <laughs> it was completely useless. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Mag- Magic harp? Magical? I see what you did there. That's besides the college where Mr. Brain- Mr. Bernie lives. With a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Is it Brinny or Briny? I think it's Brinny. And you'll see, he is not here. Yep. <laughs> so, there's an absolutely nothing going on there. And we got some Morn Berries here. Gonna pick them up. Nice. You really hear me mashing right now. And I'll walk over here, we'll have... Well, we'll have a train. We we'll have a trainer up here. I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, got a trainer. You must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Um, in Ruby and Sapphire, um, the person here would be Rich Boy Winston. The reason why I have to bring him up is, <laughs> like, I remember, like, in Ruby and Sapphire, he gave he, he gave you like a crap load of money when you beat him. Um, I don't remember the case with uh, this person here. But I'll start to uh, try and I'll start to do some damage here at Tesla. And as soon as uh, things go wrong, I'll switch. And you missed. Good job. <laughs> it's not even doing anything. Which is good since Tesla's struggling to do anything either. Barely doing any, any damage. Oh, critical hit! Oh. <laughs> and another crit. But don't you think that's a little... Um, using a full restore on a level 7 Zigzagoon? Don't you think it's a bit overkill? Also, good thing I switched. <laughs> Let's use Water Gun. Water Gun is a special move. And it's Finn's most powerful move yet. You can see, he was able to KO that Ziggy Zagoon in one hit. See Lady Cindy. Oh my! And yeah, you get a bunch of money from her too. But of that, the only thing that stands ahead of us right now is... Uh, is this ominous entrance to a forest. Hmm. I, I wonder what lies beyond this. Well, whatever it is, you'll have to find out next time. <laughs> Cliffhangers. Anyway, without further ado, um, I've been Thunder, I'll be signing off, and I'll see you next time. Stay frosty, fellas.